Hello students welcome to our digital classroom this is the last part of this chapter europe political division and physical features in this video particularly i will discuss with you all the different water bodies in europe in water bodies of europe we have two categories in first category i will discuss with you all the major rivers and in the second category i will discuss with you all the major lakes so let's get started rivers the largest and the second longest rivers of europe are the volga and the danube respectively these rivers are arrowed on the map you can easily see on the screen the volga is 3692 km long and rises from a small lake in the valdai hills and ends into the caspian sea whereas The Danube is 2,860 km long and rises from the Black Forests in Germany and flows into the Black Sea. Moscow is an important city located near the river Volga. As you can see on the screen, Volga is is towards the eastern side. Vienna in Austria, Hungary, some cities of Hungary. and belgrade in serbia are important cities located near the river danube which is in the middle the rhine which is also arrowed on the screen you can see is the busiest river of europe it flows flowing north from its source in the alps to the north sea where it terminates and for, uh, forms a delta this river is famous for its picturesque rift valley It is the most important waterway of Western Europe. Bonn and Cologne are the two important cities, whereas Rotterdam is the leading port in Europe. Are situated on this river. The Ruhr is a tributary of Rhine. Then comes the, um, another important uh, river, that is the Thames. The Thames is a river of southern England, which flows three hundred thirty-eight kilometer. which in another me- measurement 210 miles eastwards from the cotswolds through london to the north sea then the other river that is rhone which is 813 km long is a south flowing rivers of fran river of france which empties itself into the mediterranean sea the other important rivers of europe are with zoala don Nipper, Elbe, etc. The rivers of Europe are mainly classified into three categories for our convenience. First category, I talk about rivers in the west. Second category, rivers in the east. And the third category, the rivers which originate in the Scandinavian Highlands. So let discuss it one by one. Rivers in the west. these rivers originate from the alpine mountain system and they are rhone rhine danube and po rivers in the east these are russian rivers for example the volga don dniester dnieper and the and so on these rivers freeze during winters here you mark these rivers freeze during winters now the third category that is those rivers which originate in the scandinavian highlands that is the pechora and mesene these are short and fast flowing rivers then comes the second category of the water bodies in europe that is lakes europe has a vast number of lakes there are more than 5000 lakes in finland therefore it is popularly called as the land of thousand lakes the lake ladoga in russia is the largest fresh water lake in europe so students in this chapter particularly we have talked first about the uh, background of europe then we have talked about the major political division of europe and then the physical features so this is what the end of this chapter in the next video we will be discussing about the another uh, the another part of europe so till then keep on studying take care i'll see you in the next video bye bye